Let's go. I want to say let's move on. Yeah, let's but move on. No, let's talk about album again. Like, oh, God, yeah. Anyway, he wasn't there for Arsenal. Uh, and he wasn't there for Gabon either. No. Nope. Um, neither was Mario Lemina. Uh, Jules, now despite going down to 10 men, Gabon got a last ditch equalizer against Burkina Faso. It looked like the momentum had shifted. Yeah. Um, but no, penalties. Yeah, Equilemonga scored that goal. And to be fair, when they equalized, I thought, okay, this is it. They're going to go and win it. Even in the penalty shootout, I thought they were going to win it. And then Burkina Faso, and uh, some, somehow, I think, found the resources of staying in the game, wait for the penalties, and, and making sure that their goalkeeper made the difference. I, I love the Burkina a, Faso goalkeeper. I, I, I watched this with yeah, the whole family. Yeah, all in. Like, He's got in the Lev Yashin, uh, you know, all so black cool. He's all in black. Yeah. He's got the black gloves. Amazing. His gloves, his gloves don't look. I mean, I'm sure they are football gloves, but but they they, they, they look like gloves you'd wear outside when it's cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. while his teammates taking the penalty, you know, most people crouch down or they, they they squat. The goalkeepers, no, he was doing this thing. He was he was like on all fours, like a cat. I, I, yeah, I, I love that. I love that. I oh, mean, what brilliant. a character that guy he is. is well done, Burkina Faso. And by the way, on a on a less. Pleasant note. Obviously, there's there's issues going on in Burkina Faso and Ouagadougou. There That's was uh, reports of a possible military coup, coup reports yeah. of violence. Just hope everybody's safe. And Gab, you, you were, we were so hot on Nigeria in the last show after they won all their three group games. And guess what? They got knocked out by COVID hit Tunisia, who had been poor in the group stages, had seven players out for that game against Nigeria, and yet find a way of winning it 1 0. Now, I blame your sartorial no, no. choices here because in the last one you were got you you wore the Ghana shirt as yeah. the Black Stars got knocked out. I know. Now this I I'm wearing the Nigeria ninety four shirt. I had planned all the shirts I was wearing through the competition. Don't tell us who's next because that could impact I know, betting markets. But I didn't I didn't think that I didn't think Nigeria would lose to Tunisia as much as love as I, as much as I love Tunisia and Wabi Kajri and all the team, they didn't even have their head coach on the bench because of COVID. And yet, they benefited from a, a big mistake by the Nigerian goalkeeper and scanning his goal. But still, they were so solid, yeah. so well organized. And Alexi will be coming on for, yeah, coming on and getting off. sent off. Sadiq missing that big chance at the end too. It was not a good day for Nigeria. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.